Hi, this is Cyprian from FE for All. Uh, in previous video, we talked about precision uh, in Fortran. We talked about how to make an array of uh, several dimensions. Uh, we talked about how to make a loop and how to print things. Uh, but I there's still something important to, to talk about is how do you format the output? Because if you uh, if you are dealing with matrices, for example, you, you'd like to have uh, all your data uh, really set up nicely into uh, the right shape with the right uh, number of digits after uh, the comma and all, all of those things. So let's see how we can do that. And so in this video, I'll combine quite a few other things that I talked about in previous video. So if you didn't watch the previous video, so I'll recommend you to uh, to go back to watch those videos. Okay, so first let's cd into my desktop and my Fortran folder in which I'm I'm putting all uh, the scripts. So uh, here it is what I wa what I have up to now. So that's um, that's all the things that I, I showed to you in the previous video. Um, and let's create a new file. So let's call it format2 because I already have one. And let's start the program. So what I'll do is that let's first uh, do a program that prints out some kind of array in double precision. Uh, and then I'll show you how to format this. So program, let's call the program format, right? And program format. Uh, we start by implicit non like usual. Uh, we have to declare the variables. So uh, I want to have uh, an array of dimension 4 in double precision. So just let's use double precision uh, and like that. So I need this dimension and I need to precise the number of uh, number of elements inside this array. So how will I call this array? Well, I want to make it like a matrix, so let's call it matrix, right? Okay, so um, now I will ha I will want to compute that into a loop, so I need also an integer i, and, and now let's compute this matrix. So Let's make a loop, do from i equal 1 to 4. Let's close right away the loop, so uh, I won't forget it. Uh, and so matrix i, so ha that's how you assign elements inside. Uh, an array matrix i will be equal to, uh, let's give it a value like cosinus so that's the, the, the good thing about Fortran is that those mathematical functions are already embedded in, into it. So, um, and let's do cos 0.1 multiplied by i. Uh, so that will be the value of each of the array of my uh, matrix. Now, um, okay, now let's print Let's print that. So let's let's print first a title. Uh, let's call it matrix. And now uh, I could simply print out my matrix like that with my variable matrix. Uh, and let's see what uh, I get when I do that. So let's just save. Let's put it in full screen uh, and let's uh, Let's open the shell and uh, let's compile so G for turn output and uh, the name of the file is uh, okay the name of the output will be format2 because I already have one and the name of my file is format2.f95 okay compile now let's see what we get format 2. Okay, 
So I got a matrix, but it, it doesn't look like a matrix. It looks like uh, four elements which are like that in the line. And I want to put them into a matrix and maybe I don't need so much digits. So how will I do that? Let's go back into the program on the left. And instead of using print function, you can use the function called write. So these functions like that, uh, like that, and it takes a number. So number, for example, it can be one. Uh, so it's first like that, uh, and then the name of the variable, uh, and you have to define a second line in which which starts with the number one, uh, and then the common format, and you specify a value for this format. So let's try, for example, uh, f24, and I'll show you what you uh, obtain. Uh, so that's it. So let's format it like that. And you see that this let me just uh, check that everything is fine. Okay, uh, well, there is no comma here. Okay. Okay, let's save that. Let's try to run it to see what I will get. Okay, so now I I got some kind of formatting. I got uh, all the uh, all my numbers on one line like that and I have the number of digits uh, cut to 4 after the comma. So that's because um, you see the F I think means uh, float. So if you have a matrix with integer inside you'll have to write like that I but now I have float so uh, F. Uh, 20 is the distance from uh, the start like that so from from here to uh, the number I have 20 uh, and 4 is the number of digits. Now if I add a number before that this will be the number of columns that it will it will uh, print. So like try let's try again. Let's just save, go back and uh, again compile that. And you see uh, now I'm getting two columns with uh, indentation of 20 and uh, with four coefficients. So let's change the indentation to 10 so you see the difference and let's uh, cut it to two digits. Let's compile again and you see it works. So now I'm getting a matrix which is uh, which has less space between the numbers because uh, it's only 10 instead of 20 and it has only two digits. Okay, so that's that's how you format uh, in, in Fortran. So that's it for this video. Uh, it was a very simple tutorial to show you how to do this kind of thing. So thank you for watching. I hope you learned a lot. So if you're on YouTube, You'll probably find the link to the article and the next videos inside the description. Otherwise, you can go on my blog fefall.com uh, and click in the category open source FEA and you'll find all the articles I wrote about uh, open source FEA and the previous videos inside this category. So thank you for watching. I hope that you learned a lot and that you will learn a lot using all the videos that I am sharing on my blog. So if you like those videos, please help me to share them with your friends and other engineers. And also, please let me know what you think in the comments. It's always great to have some kind of feedback. And if you have some ideas of things you would like to learn or do with FEA, please also let me know. Thank you for watching again.